hey guys welcome back to my channel today i will be doing a nail room tour and it's not like a big deal or anything so i mean i still hope you guys enjoy it but it's not like the the more most luxurious nail studio nail room and whatnot this nail room is in my house you can tell but um yeah i haven't really finished putting it together we still gotta paint the walls and stuff i've literally just been here for like a week or two because I move around my nail room or my nail room or my nail area a lot, but this is more permanent now. So let's see where we can get started. Okay, it's not the cleanest now either, so bear with me. So okay, here we have a little table. This used to be my nail table for a little bit for a couple months because I sold the last table I had, my nail table, because I didn't like it. And I said, eh, I'd rather just deal with this and invest the money when a good table comes out. And I knew I had faith that I would get a better table. So I'll be showing you guys that in a minute. So I'm just using this table for like a little office area slash a little register. So I have my printer scanner here, some envelopes, pencils and pens, my stapler, just in case I need anything. Um, this is my laptop. I actually edit my videos for my other channel, my family channel, for my YouTube channel. And um, most of the videos for nails that I do, I usually just do it on my phone, which is what I'm doing now. Um, I don't know why I do that. I think it's just easier for me. But sometimes I would, I do edit some of my nail videos, like mostly sit down videos, I'll edit on my computer. It just depends how I feel. So yeah, we have the laptop and I have this little drawer here that I use kind of like, um, kind of like a little register. I usually have cash here and coins here. This is my um, little receipt book. This is how I keep track of how much money I'm making. So when a client leaves, I will, let me see, is it not focusing, yeah, I will just like write down what service they got, the date on top, who got it, and the amount, like this, kind of an example. So then I'll keep that for record, and that's that. I got my trash can down there, the internet is all back there, that's what those wires are. This is randomly here, I don't know where to put it because i don't know i still got to organize my closets like i said i just got here two weeks ago in this room so yeah oh i hear helicopters okay so anyway my blind fell so that's why that's there so that brings me to the window the blind fell i just got to put it back but anyway i still wanted to do this video for you guys um yeah it's basically just like um my ac is there and some little bottles there for decoration just so it's not too boring my air freshener before somebody gets here i like to make it smell good a random bottle of monomer but it's empty so don't worry and i guess i'm always drinking water and i just i guess i just left it there <laughs> and there goes another bottle of water <laughs> but anyway then i have um my ring lights i'll show you how bright it gets it's pretty bright so it's not good that i'm facing it towards it because obviously it's gonna make everything else brighter than than if i'm facing it towards the phone so like see this is a difference so there's a table this is without it oh, somewhat of a difference so i use this light mostly when i do videos if um it's light later at night like this is why i like this room because you know there's a nice little, big window and a good lighting comes in and you can open the the window and let out the monomer smell the good thing about this room is that that vent right there does not work very well at all so none of the monomer smell circulates to the house so that is why i don't have a problem with monomer smells um if you want me to get more in tune with that i'll let you guys know but yeah oops i almost dropped something but yeah there goes all my nail polishes so there goes my sign of my services that somebody told me well they gave this to me as a tip and they told me it was good luck so i hope it is and then we have my rhinestones over here just so they don't fall easily there's like three cases of them so yeah these are my favorite ones these are just the colorful ones Another bottle of water, like I said. 
So then this little thing here I got at Marshalls, I believe, or TJ Maxx, one of them. And here I just keep my nail art stuff, some color, colors, um, a lot of foil that I got online. That's a lot of gold leaf foil. So there's a lot. Um, my other foils. I feel like I need to get a lot of more nail art. I don't feel like I have a lot at all. That. I have like acrylic paints and stuff. I have a lot of stuff in the closet, but I just don't want to show you guys for the simple fact that it's so messy. There's like a lot of nail tips here that I can use, like long, stiletto ones. These are just the natural ones, natural ones, uh, white tips. And then these are like my favorite. These are like stiletto, but you can turn them into coffin. And they're clear. And then I have extra different ones. I have French tip ones. I have clear ones. These are from Sally's. And some are clear. And then these are for my nail trainer, obviously. They came in something like this. I'll show you my nail trainer in a minute. And some more clear stiletto in case. And there's more stiletto ones. And these are more clear stiletto to do refills, basically, to refill these. So those are my nail tips there. Here, just all my acrylics, Young Nails, DNDs, and I don't know why I have these. I don't have the pedicures anymore at the moment. Uh, my pedals for my girl. My school ID from 2014. Isn't that funny looking? And some lotions. Victoria's Secret dollar store, but this dollar store one actually works better than the Victoria's Secret for massages. Okay, so then, let me see if I can maneuver over here. Oh, and it dropped something. My Mylar. It's because this shouldn't be here. So let me just move this over here. It just makes more sense. Got Mylar, some like mixed glitters I do myself. Um, there's a lot of organizing that needs to be done, obviously, because it's just everywhere. It's so annoying. Gold foil that I already kind of prepped, but you can put into smaller flakes. Okay. These are all my SC gel polishes. This is why I use SC a lot. I actually had time, probably three of these gel polishes of SC, but I sold them because they were, um, you know, repeated colors. And I was like, eh, I'm not that big of a fan of them, so I don't need all of them. Then I have some Opi okay, ones, barely any. IBD um, joys, joys. Uh, this is the first time I tried Elite 99, and I like them. Don't mind my nails. I'm gonna do them and I'll make a video, <laughs> but I just removed them yesterday, so please don't mind them. Um, some C and D gelish, regular polishes, caption, black matte top. Um, I don't know how to say that. Says she, say she, vive, whatever top coat, top coats and base coats. Um, what do they call them? Striper polishes from Color Club and the ones that I got from the nail supply store. Some SC polishes. This, these are regular polishes. And then what else? More SC. Some little mini. I think these are OPI, right? No, they're not. Vinique. Vinique little polishes, Vinique big polish bottles. What else? More Vinique polishes. What happened to my OPI ones? I had a couple. Oh, oh, these are OPI. Some of them are OPI actually. Didn't even notice. Okay. And then these are a mixture of jellies or China Glaze. I don't know why I said jellies, but yeah, jellies is the gel polish from China Glaze. So China Glaze. Simple colors, OPI, these are all OPI. Then I get to Taylor Morgan, something I don't know, and some of my OPI Chrome effects that I love so much. And I want to get more so I can fill up the rack. Anyway, besides that, I have my. These are, no, these are, some of them are CD, some of them are Young Nails. Um, I want to say 90% of them are Young Nails, of these little pigments and glitter. Pigments and glitters that I have in little cases. There's dust on them because obviously. I do nails and just gets on them. But this is like a gold one. And these are pigments. 
pigments and glitters. That's what that is. So that's all that's on my yeah, some other stuff. But anyway, that's all that's on my nail rack. I got this nail rack, I believe, on offer up. Somebody was selling it down the street from me, you know, so that was like I got it in like five minutes, so that was amazing. And then like I said, there goes the closet that y'all don't want to see because it needs organization. So I'll do a part two when I redo the room because I still want to paint it. I just don't know when I'll be able to do it. So let's get to my table. My table has a bunch of nice little things. Here are the things that I use mostly. My brush is hanging off the lamp, obviously. The lamp is actually from Amazon. I think it was like $13, $15. And you just clamp it here. Um, this table actually I just got recently the, the table I honestly found it on offer up for $50 brand new the salon was selling a bunch of them that are that were used because they were redoing the whole salon and they had an extra one that was still in the box and they told me that that was the last one they had and that they would sell it to me for $50 so I was like that's a great deal and I went to go pick it up in <laughs> Excuse me. I went to go pick it up in Boca Raton. I live in West Palm. So yeah, I went to Boca to pick it up. So it's not that far away. It's really, really close. And they gave me an extra table too that was already used. Um, but I only need one, so I'm getting rid of the other one. So yeah, brand new table. And then this one actually, you're able to put the light the light in here. So that was freaking amazing. So they could just, you know, put the their hand in there and then it won't be annoying on the top which is awesome. Here goes my nail trainer. That should be on the table, like that. Just looks better. That's my nail trainer that I got online for like $100 at the time when they didn't really have really good inexpensive ones on eBay. Cause I hear you can get some really good ones for 30 bucks now, but that one cost me a hundred and it's from, I don't know, the nail trainer. It's the actual brand of the nail trainer hand brand. Um, the other ones aren't. So the actual um, brand that that made these hands, these this is where they're that's from. So anyway, here I got my business cards. And people can take them, my pictures on it just so they know who's doing their nails. Oh, this one's all messed up. I think somebody's kid did it because a lot of kids come. Um so yeah, that's what they look like. My number, my Instagram, and my email, Nails by Laura. Pretty plain and simple, gets to the point. I think, I don't know, I don't like how that looks. So I'm just gonna use that for something else. I'll just put it there for whatever reason. <clears throat> so here I haven't really been doing much of these, but I'm trying to like finish them. I have some really simple designs at the top. And then I, it starts going to more complicated ones, like the unicorn um chrome what is it called the holochrome and some ombre so i can give you an idea what kind of ombres you want to get some french faded uh nails pink and white faded some little roses i really need to practice my flowers guys i feel like that's what i need to do um oh i love this design this design is so cute it's like a ombre but like um like with just glitter at the bottom it's cute and then i got this one this one has like a chrome effect that i got from opi i really like that one some encapsulated foil gold leaf foil some more encapsulated gold leaf foil with, with um i think it's angel paper they call it this crystallized one with diamonds let me just move it so you can see it with the light better some angel foil on its own, on a clear now. Some glitter with some diamonds. Some, and then like an ombre effect chrome powder with hollow and some diamonds, yeah. And that's pretty much it for that. I need to fill that up. So this is here so the client can see, give them an idea of what kind of things I can do. And then behind it I have, the gel colors that are on my nail rack so they can oh pick pick that up 
so they can pick. And then here are all my tools that I usually put in this cup and fill it up. Oh, look, it's rusting. I gotta clean that. But basically, oh, by the way, if your tools are rusting, put Coca-Cola in them and the rust will come right off. So that's what I'm about to do with that. Because I think one of them rusted. Because I just cleaned it yesterday, but I guess the water and the rust was coming off. So that's what happened. But it's okay. Don't throw away your tools because they're rusting. Put them in Coca-Cola for like a couple minutes, like 10 minutes or more. <clears throat> 10 minutes the least. And you can clean them. Okay, so there goes my hand. So this is where the client's hand would be when I'm working on them. So yeah. And then this is my view, which is nothing, but they got a better view. So yeah. Anyway. So then this is the drawer that is under me and some of my tools. So like here, I have some pens, some dotting tools, my bits, and obviously these bits get cleaned and sterilized before I use them on the clients. So here, yesterday I was like looking for bits and I opened all of these little packages and I made a mess. Um, so, and these are for gel. Gel brushes. When I used to do gel, I don't really care for gel, I don't know why. Okay, rubbing on me. Okay. Here's some more tools in this clear box. And why is this here? Oh my gosh, why is that here? And these, I don't know. These need one good one. No clue why that's there. Oh, you know what? No wonder. I was looking everywhere for this yesterday. Anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna put these in here. And then I'm gonna clean them and organize them. I don't ever take, like to take the sandy bands off of the I think they're called dermals. I forget what they're called. Mandrels? Mandrels? I think that's what they're called. But yeah, I don't like to take them off of them because I do it in front of the client so they know that it's clean every time I put it on the drill. Anyway, I gotta clean all this stuff. Okay. So that's, that's what's in front of me. Obviously, my lamp is there. So when the client's ready, if they put their hand in and it turns on i could just like alternate what times and then they, it turns on when they put it in or i could just turn it on myself and then i got my cleanup brush here and then i got this don't need to be there but i got my nail tip cutter some cotton that's just randomly there my files that are for myself only um to wipe, clean off the dust off of people or the table. These are my my sandy bands that I use on them. Usually I use the finer grit ones. And then what else? Oh, my drill. This is a Vogue drill. And let's see. This is what it looks like. Um, everybody asked me where I got this. I have my link up, but they're not in stock right now for whatever reason. I actually got mine, the, I had bought two. This first one, I, uh, well, the first one that I got was the same one as this, but I was in Colorado and I was pulling it so bad from, I think right here, that the wires are connected. And instead of being smart and just connecting them back and just screwing them back in, I just threw it away like a dummy. So if that happens to you guys with any drill, you could just connect them back, or at least with this drill, connect it back, and then um, put this piece back in, and then just drill them back, and that's it. It's easy. So anyway, so that's the drill. So you can turn it on. Low speed, middle. You don't need to use it that much, but it's a. I think it's a, pre a decent drill because the first time I bought it, I bought it for. I want to say $45, maybe, I don't even think 50, maybe 45 and under. But then the second time I saw it and I don't know how, but I got it for 25 brand new on Amazon. So this is the one that I got for 25. So I refused to like throw it away and I figured out how to fix it and it still works, amazing. And you could use it with the pedal, it connects there, but I don't like the pedal, so it's just my preference. And then here is a hot mess. I have my foils in case somebody needs to soak off. I have um, my files, a buffer, in case some man wants like a shiny buffer, because they're guys, they're guys. 
And then my other buffer is for everybody else. I use them one time and throw them away. Oh, here I got my garbage can that needs to be thrown out, but yeah, it's cute. But it's that little one that can fit in there. In this drawer, in this drawer, I basically have a cuticle remover. This is alcohol. This one's empty. I used to keep my monomer in there. Um, my young nails monomer. My clear powder that I use on the daily. Some acetone brush cleaner alcohol spray bottle and cuticle oil that's what's in that drawer and then in this drawer i just keep paper towels and some like cleaner just in case for any messes oh you know what i didn't even go through what's over here because i think this is pretty important you know what let me sit back so you guys can see my view of it I just did a 360. Okay, so here I have my Dapper dish for the monomer. Sometimes I use it for uh, acetone when I'm cleaning around the cuticles for, from the polish. My protein bond, which is like my primer, my dehydrator from ASP, and ASP brand of acrylic and monomer is the one that gave me allergic reaction. If you guys know, I have a video, two videos of my allergic reaction, what happened to me and how I fixed it issue blah 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 um you can look that up if you guys want to on my channel and but this is fine this doesn't really do anything i think it's just the monomer and the other stuff and then i have my great amazing mia secret um brush what is it called the gel resin and i use this for my stones for my diamonds for my nails and after I apply that, put the diamonds, I use this activator spray to um, secure the diamonds. And then here I just have a bunch of like gel top coats, base coats, um, what else? Foil, glue, more gel base, more gel tops. I have matte top from gels. I have more gel polished. Um, What's it called? More top coat. The tacky layers, not tacky layers. This is from um, Lee 99. I actually enjoy that one. It's something new I tried and I actually really like it. I have my nail glue. I have more nail glue here. I should put it together. But yeah, um, finger paints, top coat. I have young nails, mostly young nail stuff. Cause I love you nails. It's like my favorite company, guys. To be honest, it's like my favorite favorite company. And yeah, I have just some tops. My other regular top coats, like I showed you guys earlier, regular top coats, base coats. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, let me give you one last look of my room, of how it looks when I have clients come. So yeah, my little office area. You guys, this was so cute. They accidentally gave me this drawer um when they gave me the table and i had to go get um they gave me a, a drawer full of random stuff i mean a drawer a box full of random stuff they thought it was a table it wasn't so my boyfriend called and they were like yo that's not the table it was some random stuff so like i'll keep that random stuff and just come get the table so that's what we did so yeah that's what happened with that but i really like that so yeah so this is how it looks like i said one last time um and that's that i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to comment like and subscribe for more videos thank you guys for watching please subscribe 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 bye guys